now we are joined by head coach for the Oklahoma Christian women's basketball team, Stephanie Finley. To her left, senior Addie Cliff. And to her right, Madison Collier. Madison Collier. Coach, if you can start with a brief statement and then we'll go to questions. Hard fought game. I was really proud of my girls' effort. I think we played hard, and I was hoping it would pay off by the end, but clearly it did not. Okay. Questions for the coach or for the players? Uh, Addie, um, just kind of talk about uh, what it means to you to play uh, in the Eagle uniform and uh, just how much you know, this team means to you. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're fine. Um, <laughs> It means a lot, you know. Uh, I grew up going to cage camp all my life, and I knew I wanted to play at um, a college level. And just all the relationships that I've got to form over the past four years, and the level that I've gotten to play at, you know, I love playing. So um, it's really, it's been a really a big blessing for me in my life, and you know. God has been very good um, to me and to, you know, this team this year. And I didn't play, you know, I didn't play my best game by far today. But, um, you know, Maddie and Katie, I just wish, like, I could help them more. But, man, they, they fought really hard and it just made me want to get out there even more. And, you know, it didn't go our way at the end, but, man, like... I'm so proud of them, and I'm so happy to be on the same team as they are. So, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm so emotional. <laughs> but, yeah. And Madison, um, you had a great first half, 12 points in the first half, and you began with 19 points. Really stepped up um, as the defense was keying on Addie. Can you talk a little bit about having those opportunities because of what the defense does with Addie? I mean, everybody's going to guard Addie because she's insane. It's just, I'm just going to say it's been a blessing to play with her this um, two years. But, I mean, I just, I know we wanted to win this game so bad, so I just came out and tried to do whatever I could to help this team succeed. So. Thank you. Other questions? <coughs> but, Finley, can you just talk a little bit on what Addie and Hannah mean to this program as they played their last game today? Well... It's hard to put into words, obviously, what Addie has meant. Benny, as we call Hannah, we call Hannah Benny. She's the best jokester and prankster in the world, so her leadership will be missed, her fun times will be missed. It's been hard for her, too, to play in the shadow, maybe, of another senior like Addie, but She's done a good job of keeping things light on the team. I can't talk about it, Addie. to her out on the floor are unfair. She's the nicest kid in this league. She doesn't really care if she scores. She can, so she does. She's blessed. She can run all day. She never gets tired. She's blessed in that way. She comes in early in the morning every day shoots by herself for minutes to hours. Whatever free time she's got in the morning, she's in the gym shooting. Nobody rebounds for her. She doesn't use a shooting machine. She just 
shoots and fetches and shoots and fetches and dribbles and dribbles and dribbles and dribbles. And she has developed herself over four years into the player that she is. And I only hope the rest of my team can see that, and I know they do, and emulate that, that she has left that legacy for them. I get defensive about her because I, I hear other coaches pick at the fact that she's getting calls or that she's carrying the ball or that, and, and, I, and I feel like that happened more and more and more as the season went on and I feel like it's unfair to treat another team's star player like that and I get defensive about it. So the, all, all these kinds of thoughts are running through my mind because it's the end of her career. And I want you to know that she did all of this she averaged almost 27 points a game with everybody double teaming her and everybody triple teaming her and everybody pulling her jersey out of her shorts when she comes off of the screen. And she still did it. And thankfully, she was rewarded last night with Player of the Year on her. I was stressing about that a little bit. I was afraid she wouldn't get it because of our record. Because I don't think I did a good job of putting the team together around her and figuring out our roles and and um, I, I just am not sure I did a great job and I was afraid it was going to cost her but the conference validated her for me and, and I appreciate that and I'm glad for that and she deserved it she really deserved it we're going to miss her I'm happy we're going to miss 27 points we have to do it with about 10 people but um you know, she didn't get to the line today, and that's where a lot of her points come from, and that's why coaches lobby against it. She just didn't get there today, and we had a lot of turnovers, which hurt us. But, you know, sometimes those are because we're going too fast, and sometimes they're because the other team's making the play, and sometimes they're because, I don't know, you get bombed and you lose control. No, I would, I would have liked to see her be able to get to the line a little bit, which gets her in a rhythm, and that didn't happen today. So she struggled a little bit today, but it, it's hard in your last game because you get emotional during the game, and, and uh, she got emotional last game too yeah. at home. I was crying at halftime. And I, what did I tell you? I said, well, <laughs> no crying in no, There's basketball. no crying in basketball. Except right now, when you get beat, wait till the game's over. Describe this much for a long time. Sorry, I just kind of went on the rant right there. You might have to delete some of that. Did I, say, I didn't say cuss words or anything. Yeah. Abby, can you just talk a little bit about what it means to you to be named the Player of the Year this year in the Hartman Conference? Um, yes. Uh, I'm very thankful that the conference recognized me. Um, it means so much, like Coach Finley and Maddie said, um, you know, we come in every day, we work our hardest, and, you know, I just want that award to not just reflect me, but reflect all of our hard work. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's a blessing for sure. Um, it was a very good night that we had last night. We had a lot of fun, and we really came out and thought we were going to win this game, and we almost did. It was just man, last, literally last three minutes just really changed. And, but yeah, I mean, it's a blessing. <coughs> I, I'm very thankful and I just wanted to accept it on behalf of not just like, not just me, but of everyone involved and that's my whole team, so. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.